Welcome to Scrambled Brains. Welcome to Scrambled Brains Wordcast. I'm Matt Clemens. I'm Nikki Powell. And I'm Will Runyon Jr. And it's 118. 17? 118. 118. You had it okay. earlier. I know, right? Well, you had heard that fart story, and now I forgot. <laughs> you can't be talking about farts and expect me to remember shit. Right. I'm sorry. But it's our post, it's post Super Bowl pre Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, I want you guys to know that I used up all almost all my data on my stupid satellite internet because I missed every single one of these commercials. I'm uh, like, okay, yeah. watching, watching, watching. Well, let's watch some stuff. They're playing football right now. I don't care about that shit. All right, we'll watch something else. Okay, let's turn over here. Yeah, okay. When are the good commercials going to start? And then I look at the internet, and I was like, oh, new Civil War trailer up online. I'm like, what the fuck? When did I miss this? So we'll <laughs> click and watch that, and then... <sighs> yeah, I didn't... Uh... Didn't watch it either. I, I yeah, I've been catching up. I mean, I watched the end of it. I wish I had my tax return. You guys can bring us up before we started recording. We could have watched all these. I watched. Well, I was watching, watching them. them. He watched. I, oh, I, okay. I, when I got here, he was watching them all. And I've seen them too, because like I said, I use okay. my data. Well, and I had to see the the Krang trailer. Oh yes. Oh, that, that was, was crazy. Yeah, we're gonna have to we talk totally about that. We totally called it. Yep. Mm. I guess they kind of made it obvious though, right? Oh yeah, they. But uh, we'll go ahead with the commercials. <clears throat> yes. The the one thing that. Not only disgusted people. Can you tell me what commercial disgusted people the most? No. That they're talking about the most, but it's in a disgusted way. Mm. I Pup, we were puppy about... monkey baby. What? Puppy I didn't see this. You one. didn't see puppy monkey baby. No. I at ninety percent of okay. my usage. Okay. Puppy monkey baby. Pretty much, it's these three guys, and they decide. You know what? Let's just stay in tonight. All of a sudden, the door opens up and walks in. It's got the head of a pug. The torso of a monkey and the legs of a baby. And all it says is, puppy, monkey, baby, puppy, monkey, baby. And it hands them Mountain Dew Kickstart. And it crawls up in their on their chest and starts licking them. And then it leads them out the door because it's three great things. They're like three great things in one. I guess the, the Mountain Dew Kickstart's got three flavors or something like that. Huh. And everyone's like, what the hell was that? <laughs> and it's. A puppy monkey baby. Yeah. I, I and it is an disturbing. Article. It is it's a disturbing. Thing. This but people article, are talking uh, about it. Headline, I, Mountain Dew's Puppy Monkey Baby commercial scares Super Bowl viewers. <laughs> what? I just, see, I've got a whole backstory where there was a woman alone, just super horny, and this monkey came riding in on a dog. <laughs> and it was the craziest bestiality <laughs> three-way that produced this thing. It, it may have been because it is uh, – People talk about. I mean, oh. if nothing else, they got the reaction. People were talking. Yeah, about. they're talking it was about a Mountain it. Mountain Dew commercial, and um, uh, the uh, oh, what was it? Uh, uh, the Coke Mini with Ant Man. Yeah, and, I did see this. Now, this is one of the ones I used my data on. I saw that one. No, I haven't heard, so I'm sure he didn't break any records. But Paul Rudd was in three different Super Bowl commercials. Really? Huh. Yes. Oh, uh, he was one, in the one, Civil War trailer. As he was well. in the Civil War trailer. He was in the Coke one, and then he was in. Oh, he was in the Bud Light one, where it's like, uh, 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 what was it, uh, the Bud, where, uh, vote Bud Light or the Bud Light party? Oh, the, he was uh, at the basketball game. Peyton was like, Manning at the end of the at the end of the game. That well, was a, that was, was a controversial with Seth Rogen thing. and Amy Schumer. That was, was the that, Bud Light, was yeah. The one? Okay. And they're at a they're at one part. They're at a basketball game, and Paul Rudd's there. Oh, okay. And it's like everybody loves Paul Rudd, and Although, he's like, "Hey, I, I didn't know problem. this was going." I have on. a problem with the Coke commercial. What was wrong this? Is with the how Coke I man? wanted it to end. Okay. Ant Man steals the Coke. Hulk goes after him. He finally gives up after all of this, and he hands it to Coke or to, to and then Hulk. a spider web comes down. No, 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 no. Hulk goes, mm, and he opens it, and it sprays Coke all over Hulk's face. <laughs> and then Hulk just looks at Ant-Man and goes, and, and he goes, uh-oh. And that's how it ends. <laughs> that that would have been funny. That would have been funny. <laughs> Apparently, they put it together in just a few weeks. They had like eight weeks to put that really? together. Really? Because it looked pretty good. They said, uh, as far as they're concerned, it's the best-looking Hulk today. No shit. Huh. It, it looked that, good. Uh, there was a behind-the-scenes the, the behind uh, video 
And they said they redone his entire muscularity. You know, they went back and reprogrammed, you know, everything. Well, they're getting ready remodeled. for Ragnarok, so. Yeah, uh, the Civil War trailer. Yeah. This we one, saw a I, little bit more footage. I, I like mm -hmm. this one. There's parts of this I like, but there's parts of it I don't. This whole, like, chanting, united we stand, mm, divided we, we fall, yeah. divided we... I didn't like that. Okay. You know what I did like? The teams at the end, where it shows us the lineup on both sides. Oh, they keep doing... Uh, one that keeps uh, one meme they, they people play on no is Spider Man. We're, we're Spider Man. When you see all these group photos and then mm -hmm. they show like the 60s yeah, Spider Man with the a camera. picture. Yeah. Someone did it goes, Where was Spider Man the Civil War trailer? And it zooms in on Iron Man's uh, armor and you see the reflection of Spider Man taking the picture. <laughs> For real? Is that no, like no, 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 no. Some, okay. Someone yeah. photoshopped, someone photoshopped it. Yeah. it. But that would be a I, cool little, like somebody would find that. Like, yeah. If they, but no. They, well, the Civil War... But I guess they can't do there's that, There's some right? Civil War poster or something that is Captain America's shield, and it has spider webs it's on, on it. It's on it, yeah. Mm. Now, and that's legit, so I think. So far, the yeah. best thing about the Civil War trailer one's talking about is when Tony Stark stops the bullet. Yeah. He's oh, got, yeah. And he's the got that look on up. his face. Like, holy shit, you almost shot me in the face. Oh, no, he was yeah. going to shoot him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, crap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like... Yeah, that look was great because I was like, the first time I saw it, I was like, did he just shoot Tony in the head? Why did he ever survive that? <laughs> and then it's like, then I saw it again and he moved. And I'm like, holy <laughs> shit, he's going to kill him. <laughs> yeah, he's going to yeah. shoot him in the face. It's war. No, he's the Winter Soldier. That's all he's done for for forever. You know, it's. Um, they've, they've allowed. Uh, Reviews of Deadpool to come out. Right, I saw, and I everything's been positive. Yeah, right? I, I, it might be good. Like most movies, it's the the ones that I've only seen two or three negative. Yeah, and it's the it's the ones it's like they didn't know what they were going into. Right, it's I like, took my well, twelve year old son yeah. to this, and I was outraged. It's a comic book movie. It's like yeah. Spider Man. Yeah. Only it's not. You know, it's like, well, it's a load of dick and fart jokes. Well, well no yeah, shit. That's that's what, what we're have you not for. been watching the videos? And it's, yes. It's like, well, it was, it was mm -hmm. one guy said, and this was positive, was it's the most violent, gruesome Bugs Bunny cartoon I've ever seen. Oh, that sounds glorious. <laughs> yeah. I actually had I watched one review where the guy said, I was halfway through the movie and realized. To that point, there was nothing I did not like about this movie. That sounds great. Wow. So yeah, see, I was I you know now, I, well, and I still have my concerns. You know, yeah. the, that level of intensity, I guess, or like nonstop wackiness. It like, are you gonna like get wackiness fatigue at some point? Apparently, well? it slows down. <clears throat> what we see, uh, what I've put together from the now, breakdowns. This Wade Wilson thing has to be a flashback, right? Well, it starts off with the whole highway scene. Okay, that's what I figured. And it's kind of like the, 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 the trailer where it's like, wait a minute. You know, this was supposed to be a superhero movie. And then he turned that guy into a fucking kebab. Well, and then they go back and give you the Wade Wilson that's story. That's what I figured it was And they be. said there's not too much filler in this movie. Yeah. I mean, it's just a nonstop, you know, everything yeah. oh, that's that in this movie great. absolutely has to be in this yeah. movie. Oh, did you see the, it wasn't, there was a commercial, I have posted it, where, uh, Colossus is giving a speech. It's like, well, you, we want you to be an X-Man, and we want you to blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, Deadpool shoots somebody in the head. He's like, why? He goes, man, you were just droning on and on. <laughs> I am not. Is that the one where the blood splatters on Colossus's face or something? Oh, There's probably. Like, I saw something like that, and he's like, oh. <laughs> so it does look I, good. I, I am mean. worried, though. I'm uh -oh. worried that this is going over so well that I am sure some Fox executive goes, this is great. I need to get involved in this. Well, <laughs> and then you have Pirates of the Caribbean 2 and 3. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds has said his next project, what he's pushing for, is X-Force. With him? With him. Now, what it is is when when we think <laughs> X-Force, we think Cable, Cannonball, Domino, Domino. Feral. Uh, Cannonball, Warpath, Warpath Cannonball, Boom Boom. Boom Boom. What he's talking about probably is it's where Wolverine. it's Wolverine, Psylocke, Deadpool, Archangel. I don't like Flamex. that X Force. I want the other one. Well, yeah, but this way they put Deadpool into it. Unless they just put him in because he knows Cable. Well, he could be a bad guy, kind of. So, well, not so, a bad guy, but. But X Force is like a different vibe altogether, right? Yeah, X Force they're, is they're like an assassination theory. squad. Oh, they're okay. like X Men that will kill you. They're they're X Men that are more proactive than reactive, and they're but they're still good guys. No, not with with Cable running it. 
Or they're, they're, they're just like the Suicide Squad or something? Kind they're, of. They're kinda uh, with Cable running it, it was more of a military squad. Uh, when Scott yeah, Summers yeah, took over the X-Men, he had Wolverine put together his X-Force team to be like the Black Ops Wetworks mm. team of oh, the okay. X-Men. Like yeah. these are the guys like we no don't one acknowledge. else. Yeah, no one. We, we don't know nothing about these guys. We, we don't, don't even tell me like, what you do. Just get it done. Yeah. So... Hmm. We'll see Deadpool will be a good guy for that team. Now, they do. I'll, I'll spoil it for you. We'll watch it later. There is a commercial where it shows a close-up of Wade Wilson and Vanessa and goes, it's time to put some balls in some holes. Oh, She goes, ah. he goes, hey, you said anything I wanted. She goes, I know. And they turn around and she goes, you love skee-ball. And they're at a skee-ball play. That's awesome. <laughs> Who doesn't I love skee-ball, ski too. <laughs> I used to love ten cent ski ball. Oh, yeah, not anymore. So they tore it down. Did we talk about that last week? Was that not? Yeah, did we record that. Bit that? Depressing. Right. Yeah, it was depressing. The but uh, Marvel has put out a meme with Deadpool that says Deadpool is not for children. Deadpool is not for children. Say it with me now. Deadpool is not for children. My kids are the exception. No, they're not. No, they're not. I'm not. I raise kids my kids in a manner where I allow them. Good for you, Mister. Er, uh, good for you, Captain Progressive. Wait until it's on Blue Blu-ray. Yeah, no shit. They should make a ver- uh, make a version for kids. No, they shouldn't. This is the way they wanted it. But my kids love Deadpool because he is in insert random property here. And Lego, he was, Lego, and, Marvel, Lego. My and he was love. okay. And kids love him. And we have toys and costumes. And that's terribly unfortunate. But perhaps you should direct your anger and confusion at insert random property here and why they uh, exposed a historically R-rated character to your children. <laughs> yeah, my kid has a little Lego Deadpool, okay? Yeah. And it's because of Marvel or Lego Marvel because he's in that and she thought he was great. But mm-hmm. I'm not taking her to go see this movie. Hell no. Thank no. You. No. I have to explain too much shit. No. <laughs> if nothing I know else, what's going on. They, they should put yeah. up, there's a, like a, a, a four panel deal. Did you know Deadpool has a daughter? I think I did know that. Okay, he ends up, he finds out he's got a daughter. She's probably six or seven. Okay. And there's a scene where I don't think she knows he's his dad. He's kind of like Uncle Deadpool. You know, he's letting mm-hmm. her be raised. And he goes, hey, wait a minute, I'll show you something. And he turns around on the swing and he does something. He goes, hey, pull my finger. And she pulls it, and it comes off. Because <laughs> he cut it off. Because he cut it off. And she's like, ah! And he's smiling. Okay, uh, Candy was telling me, I guess she read Deadpool's girlfriend. Vanessa. Uh, copy future, cat. future baby mama. Okay, yeah. yeah. So is what's the story with her? Is she going to be copycat in the mo- this movie? We yeah, don't know do yet. Know? I'm, maybe, I'm maybe thinking she, she is mm-hmm. because, okay, real quick backstory. She's Vanessa. a shapeshifter, right? That's her. She's her a shapeshifter. She was a teenage prostitute that hooked up with Wade Wilson. He dumps her when he goes into the Weapon X project. Okay. They later end up working together. She she shapeshifts into a character called Domino to infiltrate oh. X-Force. But oh, that was that's the character. I forgot about that. But she wasn't. Like there was another p- character that was yeah, yeah there was she a real replaced. Domino. She yeah she re- she yeah. didn't like like pose as this character for a long time no no and no they had they a whole like the original character and she and they had a whole like no shoot her I'm the real Domino yeah, yeah, I yeah. think he stabs them both or some shit you know you never I'm know. sure that was right. but if you remember in the trailer she goes I've played many roles <laughs> but but was it uh but damsel in distress isn't, isn't one of them yeah okay. so I'm wondering if she's hand. not a shapeshifter yeah, okay. And they find out in this well, way. That and that be... might be what it is. He shows her, you know, he pulls off his mask at the end to show her how disfigured he is. And she shapeshifts in front of him. He's like, holy shit, mm. or something. Mm. So. She mm. turns into a prune to make him feel better. <laughs> uh, Gotham's coming back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, month. the is 29th, it? February 29th. Now, okay. if, we're, now if you remember, um, I can never. Uh, Mr. Freeze is. is B.D. Wong yeah, is Hugo playing Strange. Hugo Strange. Yeah, now. Hugo Strange. Given TV, mm-hmm. how close to Hugo Strange do you think he'll look? Do you think he'll just give him glasses and he's Hugo Strange and he walks the halls and he looks like he always does? Or Well, are they going to give him the Amish beard? Amish beard. Got to have Amish well, beard. Well, I was surprised. He oh. shaves his head and he has the Amish beard. No, I kind of... See, I was watching X-Files last night because I actually... Since yeah. we're recording on Tuesday instead of Monday, um, I actually got to watch the X-Files. Um they had a preview for Gotham on there, and you see him in the preview. Okay, I haven't and seen so that. I saw him. I know what he looks like. 
Yeah. That's how I knew he had the Amish beard and the shaved head and the glasses. Now, did they show uh, Mr. Freeze in actual a free suit? I think I seen that. It, it was, it all was all like on, very quick. It was cut, very but quick, but yeah, it was yeah. like a parka him, and he had glasses and right. he had a gun. It showed him shooting, He's shooting the, the, with yeah. the the freeze gun. Ah, yeah, I'm looking forward to. Yeah, that's cool. I've seen oh. that. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'm it's. It's getting to where they're introducing all the villains. So yeah, what? But the I, villains are going to run Gotham for ten years before Batman, Batman shows, shows up? up. I don't. Well, they're going to have to do the Adventures of Bat Boy, uh, where he uh, fights all the criminals as a as a child first, and then goes away and becomes Batman. Now, and in the time s- stops. Yeah. Now here's here's the funky thing, and here's one reason why you know the crisis had to be done in the eighties, mm. in the Silver Age. Batman, as a ch- as you know, a young man, thirteen, fourteen, went and was trained by the world's greatest detective, Sherlock Holmes. But no, this is another character. But he had to conceal his identity, and he wore the Robin costume. It just didn't have an R on it. Wait, <laughs> Why he what? would wear that, I don't but know. This was pre Robin. Yeah, this didn't was. Exist yet, yeah, Robin. This is Bruce huh. Wayne, thirteen, fourteen. <laughs> huh. So when Robin comes along, he's like, "Hey, kid, I got this old. Thing yeah, I got I this spare." You can wear that I used to wear. Okay, yeah. so, but when I was 13, I was training under the world's greatest detective, and he's like, here, kid, put a pair of green speedos No, no, <laughs> Bruce did that to hide his identity from the detective. So he dressed like that on purpose. Yes. <laughs> but, but the detective so, wasn't like, I know who you are, kid. I'm the greatest detective in the world. So wait, <laughs> uh, so he's putting young boys into his own fanciful clothes that he wore when he was a kid? Yes. Batman's a complicated guy. Uh, okay. Which brings me to the segue. Did you guys know that Venture Brothers is back on? No. Two episodes did it come in. on? Yes, we're two episodes I in. I missed this shit. What? When did this happen? Uh, two weeks ago. Because <laughs> they're on episode two. They did not advertise they, that they well. bring back. They bring back uh, Doc, or, uh, Doc, Brock Samson. Brock Samson, yeah. And Colonel, is it? Hatred. Colonel, or uh, Sergeant, is Sergeant, Sergeant Hatred. Something like that. Is reassigned. Is he based on Sergeant Slaughter? No, he's a he's a, was a villain. He was a super villain. Yeah, he was a super villain who <laughs> married the princess Tiny Feet, who's like a whore, and she keeps cheating on him. It's Cause, hilarious because yeah. she she likes kinky stuff but won't tell him, so he didn't know. And yeah. but he also has a problem with molesting little boys. Oh, he takes drugs. That's right. Yeah, he like, takes drugs. Moves because he was taking the drugs. <laughs> but he goes to get reassigned. <clears throat> he's like, well, put me on the next guy. He goes, the next guy's a nine-year-old genius that's as cute as a damn button. The last thing I want to do is put him under you. <laughs> or something like put you on top of him. I need to see this. I can't believe it's back already. I'm going to have to go look it up and put it on my DVR so that yep, I can. It is. Because going. two episodes in, geez, that's like half the season Almost, with these guys. I think there's, yeah, there's usually only like eight or nine. And so. I don't want to have to wait another six years to see the next season. Oh, and, and, and three they'll do a special. Whatever. You know what? <laughs> You know what you do? You make you make twelve episodes, and then you turn around and do twelve episodes the next year. That's how this works, guys. Nope. nope. Well, they got to wait for everybody to be freed up. Yeah, that's how the first like three or four seasons worked. What the uh, hell? I know, I know. Why is it all of a sudden? Or you could do six episodes and then take two. Months but those two off guys do, do like half episodes. the voices. <laughs> yeah, but they're waiting for what's his name to uh, Brock. To <laughs> then kill him off, okay? I'm I like Brock, what, but if he it? ain't gonna make himself Brock available. Is... Oh, what's the actor's name? I don't know. He was Kronk in um, uh, He's the Tick. He He's was tick. on Seinfeld. Uh, Walbur- or oh, Walburton. Tick. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Patrick I Walburton? Don't... Yeah. Okay. Patrick yeah. Walburton. Yeah. It took me a while. I got to it. Right. Now I can uh, audio picture it. What's yeah. he in that he can't do this? Who knows? That's what they always say is, well, we got to work this all out. What's he doing? It's like, well, two of you do most of the voices, so who yeah. are you waiting on? Well, you're waiting on... Yeah, they do Hank and Dean. Oh, now, they do. Uh, Doctor Venture is another guy, um, but I'm sure Doctor Girlfriend Urbaniac. Um, oh, James James Urbaniac. Urbaniac. Uh, that is a guy, but they don't seem to have any trouble getting him. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know because every time I hear him on during the Venture Hour, I'm like, "That's Doctor Venture. <laughs> He's just doing Doctor Venture. It's mm-hmm. Doctor Venture." And, you know, it's and then they well, do Hank and Dean. They, they do they, uh, Monarch and Doctor Girlfriend. Monarch and Doctor Girlfriend. I think does one of them do 20, 21? 21. I, I'm not I sure. I think so. I think they do Sergeant Hatred uh, is one of them. The guy so, who does Hank is the one that does Sergeant Hatred. Yeah. Maybe uh, Brock has ha, Brock has a farm uh, in South Dakota that he has to tend, 
and it just you know i mean the seasons that you know he's got livestock it's oh, a yeah. lot of work he can't get to hollywood to record <laughs> these things you know he's That's like hey uh, yeah i'm busy <laughs> and they're like what are you doing well i'm not sitting on the couch jerking mm-hmm. off <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you're not really in anything uh he's in the barn to go back real quick to uh the, Super Bowl the trailers! Super Bowl, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah. I didn't like this one as much as the last one we saw. But you know what? Yeah. If they would have put this ending on the end of the first trailer, it would have been, been better. Yeah. yeah. Right. But we did see Krang. Krang. Right. And they're going for the big robot. I can't human believe head it. Looking. I I'm like, yeah. holy shit. If he was wearing, <laughs> if he was wearing red short pants, it would look just <laughs> like him. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. It. So. Yeah. But. I don't know why they they made the trailer look like the first movie, and then they put Krang at the end, and I'm just like, man, yeah, I was. Yeah, you saw a little Bebop and Rocksteady, before. but yeah, I mean, you it. This was just giving you more than what. It's just giving you something different than you what saw you saw. The Technodrome. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that was that. I think that was that thing in the sky. Oh, yeah. Huh. In, the, in the show, it was on wheels. It yeah. was on tank treads. Tank treads and yeah. It went around underneath New York City. Right. Yeah, like tunneled. It had a big eye on it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like an actual uh, eye, not like the letter I, like right. an, an, uh, uh, an eyeball. Yeah, it should have a big T on it. <laughs> yeah, for tech. It's going to have a, a letter. Yeah, so it's I got to be the Technodrome once in that Ninja Turtles video game, the first one for oh. the NES. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's freaking impossible. That thing is so oh, fucking hard. Yeah. I remember that's the one I kept on for so long because you couldn't save. Yeah. Yeah. So right. you would. Now, remember, boys and girls, this was before you had, like, infinite lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Most games now, it's like you can't die. Or if, right. I mean, you'll die, but, but you'll you just respawn. Keep, yeah, yeah, you don't keep re- yeah. respawning. You run out of lives, it's game over, and then you start at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. All over again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, the last time I played Ninja Gaiden was, like, Shit, why do you want to? ago. I got to the last guy and died, like, immediately. <laughs> and, yeah, That's it. Back to the beginning. I'm like, oh, you son of a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> What did I play? I played um, Streets of Rage 2. Got all the way to the last guy, and <laughs> oh, I got killed, and I wait. had to go start the whole game over no, wait, again. You know what? Maybe I maybe I started at the beginning of that level, but that level is just so ridiculous. It wasn't worth it to me to keep going. I can't remember. Anyway, oh, yeah. And then you got into one of those I impossible games. I, yeah. I, I only just beat Super again. Mario Brothers like five years ago. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. man. We used to like speed run through that. Well, now I can I mean, do it. Yeah. Now that I've done it. It was so funny. It was such a huge thing. I could never do it when I was a kid, hmm. and I tried again, like in my teenage years, <laughs> and I still couldn't do it. Once you do it the first time, it you can do it yeah. over and over and right. over and over again. I'd, I once did it like three times in a row. Yeah, because I went speed. I'd used all the warps and went through and just, right. Yeah, I, I don't know if I could remember how to get through the last castle. Um, it was funny because it came back to me when I got yeah. to it. I right. started. That's what I, wonder, I was like, okay, I, I need to go down this pipe. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I need to go down this pipe. Yeah, and yeah, Super Mario uh, World too. The first one for Super Nintendo. Oh, see, I didn't have a Super My, NES. My uh, stepbrother, he like mastered it. Like you could just blaze through it. See, like, I got I I opted out for the Sega Genesis at that point. Yeah, I always, so Sonic the Hedgehog the was where I went. Yeah, we stuck with Nintendo all the way through, but I was always jealous of of the Genesis <laughs> of the Sega. Oh, the Genesis was great. I yeah. loved the Genesis. I didn't have one until I went to college, and by then it was kind of. I had I had no regrets. In fact, I have at home. I bought it. I got it for Christmas, not this year, but the year before. But it's hilarious how much they've shrunk that technology down. Yeah. So there's a box, three inches by three inches, that says Sega Genesis on it. I plug it in, and the games are on there. Oh yeah. I don't have to even plug the games. They're in there. Sonic the Hedgehog, (laughs) Golden Axe, Streets of Rage. They're in there. Yeah. 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 Like all those games, they weren't even. I if I'm. I think the NES games were like 56 kilobytes or something. They're yeah. like ridiculously. Maybe that's Atari. I don't know, but yeah, there's like. No, yeah, most of them you popped open that big cartridge and there was just yeah, a chip just a in it. Chip, yeah. Yeah, about like an inch and a half deep. So they could have made it. I'm sure it there was some smaller. marketing thing where they like, well, if you make it too small, the kids will lose it. Yeah. 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 yeah that big clunky plastic. It, it felt good in your hand. It was easy to, you know, yeah. like, wield. And then you got to pull it out. <laughs> right. <laughs> Did that ever work? I mean, I, I've had them work before, but I don't know if it... It seemed to work. Yeah. <laughs> it seemed to have an effect. Yeah, I remember we had, like, a slumber party thing. We had a... There, we did, like, a whole, like, rain dance. You know, had a whole, like, thing to get those... Oh, you had to blow it, and um, then you had to pull it. You had to push it in just enough to where yeah. it cleared. 
Mm-hmm. You know, you couldn't push it all the way in. <laughs> just no, just so the contacts touched. Yeah, yeah just yeah. where it would scrape if you right. when you pushed it down. It would, <laughs> it and you could hear it. You could hear the, and you yeah, could you feel the feel resistance. It. You knew <laughs> when you had it. Yeah. It's so you, kids don't know. Oh, they, they don't know to struggle. <laughs> they download an app now. They don't know about this. App, app my ass. Well, I love it. They show what is. I think it's the Nintendo 64 or Sega Genesis. It says loading. What the hell is loading? Yeah, <laughs> right. That you know, that's one of the reasons we stuck with we w- stuck with Nintendo. I always preferred the cartridges because they had no load times. Oh no, and they I, that was exactly like, like a PlayStation. I'm like, I don't want to sit here for 30 seconds for the game to oh, start. Oh, 30 seconds, shit! Nowadays, you get a brand new game. Oh yeah. You put it in. What's the first thing it says? There's updates available. Updates. Yeah, and, you and you've got to wait them. 20 minutes or longer. <laughs> or yeah. longer to update. Yeah, it's like ridiculous. Fallout, I believe it was almost an hour to install the game. Yeah. You know, they actually produced content for you to watch, like, separate, you know, during <laughs> the uh, installation process. <laughs> Just elevator music. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah, watch these videos. Well, and you know yeah. what else they will never know? They will never know getting an audio video cable, hooking that into a device that then turns that into a coaxial. Oh, and the yeah. coaxial, you that goes into another little coaxial that turns it into those two little screws on the back of yeah, your head. You have to put them on and then screw it in. And pray to God the prongs don't break. And then yeah. go. Right. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping my mom, like, she had like a laundry basket full of wires and cables and oh, yeah. adapters and stuff. Uh, it's like, crazy. And yeah, there was one of those in there. There's all this stuff. It was like nostalgic. And actually, she had like two NESs. Uh, she had like all these game systems. I don't know where they came from. We didn't have the like that many. You got them from her, kid. didn't you? Uh, I took yeah, I took like one of everything. Like I would have taken everything except for yeah. But she had like some pieces that she had like a a controller from a GameCube, but no GameCube, and like she had, so she bought some, a like, box at a garage sale somewhere or <laughs> an auction. Yeah, and... yeah, and I haven't hooked them up to see if they work or anything, but. Yeah, you should. That's it, yeah. eventually if I but. yeah free up a t. Well, I gotta get an uh, HDMI to analog. At, at, <laughs> yeah, shit. I know. I've actually ke- I've got a television that I've kept. It's sitting in oh, my floor. Lord. I don't know, but I that is the Duck Hunt television. Yeah, because oh yeah, aspect ratio is all different too. Be, well, yeah. it has to have the reflection. That's how the light oh, gun yeah. works. A flat panel Duck Hunt won't work on it because there's oh. no. Re- it's not glass. Huh. Wow. Didn't yeah. think about that. I know now a lot of the, uh, even a Wii, something as, as new as a Wii, we had to get different uh, cables for. for oh, a yeah. TV. I had to buy, when have... I hooked it up to my new television, the Nintendo Wii, I had to go buy a cable to hook it up. Yeah, because yeah. I changed it. Because there was, here's what it was. I have, oh, I have the audio video, you know, the red, yeah. yellow, white. I go to the back of my television. Out. There's blue and green and okay, yeah. well here's the high def. These are HDMIs. <laughs> this is a US Where the fuck do I plug this in at? <laughs> Which one? Yeah. There's three reds. What the fuck am I <laughs> So I gotta go buy a new cord. Yep. <laughs> That's what we had to do. We Cut thought we thought oh cord. crap, the the Wii's jacked up. We gotta buy a no. new cord. Nope, just had to go buy a new buy cord. Buy a new cord and then it works. Yeah, a forty dollar cord. No shit. It costs more Hon- than a Wii. Well, honestly, I've learned and yeah, it takes a little bit of time, but you go on eBay and you can just buy stuff fairly cheap. Yeah. yeah. If you need a HDMI cable, do not go to Walmart. No, no. Because a ten foot cable is like what thirty bucks. You can get yeah. like a hundred, literally, hundred yeah, for like 30, 40, eight bucks. Yeah. Eight yeah, you can get a hundred yeah. feet yeah, for eight bucks what? off. I eBay. was looking because I do a lot of eBay and I want to do the thing where I like weigh my own stuff instead of taking it to the post office. Because yeah, even no, the guys at the post yeah. office go, "You do this online, it's cheaper." Stamps.com. Like, yeah, shit. So okay, so I'm looking for a postal scale. I go to Walmart. It's like weighs up to ten pounds and it's sixty bucks. Hmm. I'm like. Fuck you! No, I get on eBay seventeen ninety nine. I buy this thing for up to eighty six pounds. It will weigh seventeen ninety nine. Free motherfucking shipping. I was like, thank you, yes, and I bought it, and it's great. No, nope. my I haven't got one yet. It's it's you know winter time and slow, and the checks aren't as big as they used to be until spring comes up. Uh, about a month ago, I bought off. Uh, I don't know how I ended up on Amazon UK. Wow. Hmm. But I bought a, a complete hmm. season of The Incredible Hulk from 1983. I know what he's talking about because I want to go on there and get the Spider-Man Okay. <laughs> now, a lot of 
players these days are region free. So I'm like, I'm going to take a gamble. I looked on the back. Mm-hmm. I didn't see anything about region on the back of my Blu-ray player. I'll take oh. a gamble. I got it in. Wouldn't play it. So, oh. ah. Now, my computer will. Yeah. But now, you might know how this works, Will. I put it in. It says, this is not the region for you know, blah, yeah. blah, blah. You can change the re- region. I'm like, okay, well, that's cool. You can only do it four times. Right. Like, wait, what? It's yeah. either there or it's not. Why? Why do they give you a limit? It's a licensing thing. Oh, uh, like yeah. It's the same thing along with the regions. So it's to prevent you from being able to buy out of region discs. Like the same reason they put regions on DVDs is so that yeah. you could only sell them into the U.S. market or the Asian market. But I go so on. So they can laugh at you when they release something in Australia, but not yeah. in fucking the United States. Yeah. yeah but they want to. They don't want to put like. They're making it so that you can buy a computer in Europe and play European DVDs by changing the region, but you can't do it too many times or else, you know. Yeah, I like, guess they're, like, putting that in there. That's the fail-safe in case you decide to move to the jolly right. old England or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah, it's such a— But yeah. they don't but, want you switching back and forth because then that defeats the purpose of having it, yeah. which is to fuck you over. But I went on yeah. eBay, and to get a region-free player is only, like, 25 30 bucks. Yeah, yeah I so do I'm it. Like, Shh, I'm going right. to do it, and yeah. I'm going to— I probably will do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it was the, the DVDs were cheap. It's um, the DVD I got was from uh, what they call it, Jet X. Oh, yeah. Remember, when uh, it like, was on, uh, yeah, like 10 the, years ago. It was Disney XD before Disney XD. But it's got an episode guide in it. It's got great artwork on it. It's like, holy shit, why can't they release this crap in America? I don't know why yeah. they don't release I it. I don't America. know what it is. But it's, so it's like not exactly bootlegged, but it's... No, no, it like is a bootlegged. Marvel it is, production. It oh, it well is? Oh, okay. Yeah, it is Jet X. It's from... Now, but it does it have the little Jet X in the corner? Yeah. During the whole commercial break? No, 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 no. I mean, on the box. On the box, but it not says on the Jet episode. X. No, but not oh, on the episode. Yeah, you, then it's okay. It is a licensed it's probably one of those Marvel product. On Jet X or something like but that. But the, for some reason, in in Europe, they released the 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 late seventies, early eighties Spider Woman, the sixties Spider Man, the early eighties Spider Man before the Amazing. All this stuff the was stuff released. That they have not released any of this shit. But they haven't released any of they it in America. They haven't released huh. the nineties Spider Man show that was so super popular. They've released like episodes. Like, yeah. Well, here's a couple episodes with Daredevil because the Daredevil movie's coming out. Yeah. Oh, here's one where he meets the Hulk because the Hulk's out. You know. Oh, yeah. Captain America. There you go. But they don't release like the whole thing. Spider-Man: The Animated Series season one. They don't do that. Right. And it's annoying. Is yeah. It, and it's bizarre. Well, I was just gonna compare that to like Netflix, like certain shows, like A and E shows. They'll put like, you know, the, like the first forty eight. I love that's what I love that show. Oh, it's been the on one for like about like the people seasons. that are they're looking yeah. in the f- if they get they got to find him in the first forty eight yeah, hours. Yeah, it's always like police detectives. Yeah. It's like cops, but yeah, because I'm like, is this a prequel yeah. of forty eight hours? Yeah, no. Yeah, the odds of finding someone after the first yeah, hours it, I've, yeah, I've seen that show. Half. Yeah, but so like you know, it's been on for like nine seasons or something. On Netflix, they have fifteen episodes <laughs> from from like four different seasons. Well. Uh, Jacob asked me because he's on Netflix and he pulls up Power Rangers. Mm-hmm. It's like season one, two, three, and eighteen. <laughs> he's like, yeah. what? Yeah, Why? it doesn't make a lot of sense. So but, you're like this. Where the fuck did Tommy go? <laughs> but Netflix takes stuff down. But I guess they yeah. took Doctor Who down. Yes, I heard about because, that. Because yeah. uh, the rumor is BBC will start their the own. Oh, their they own want it back, service. which actually works for me. So now I could probably actually watch Doctor Who. Uh, I mean, it's I don't so know sad. I'm the, the only one that can actually watch cost. Doctor Who, yeah. and I don't. It's but sad. I have I have BBC America, and I don't watch Doctor Who. I guess I probably well, wouldn't. A new pay for Doctor's it coming up. Maybe much. you know. Is it going to be a hot red headed Doctor? Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, female, preferably, but you know, it's I'm not uh, that picky. Maisie Williams, she's going to do. It. She's gonna they've do been the hinting. I'm, I'm sorry. This whole last season, uh, the last two seasons, I guess actually, they've hinted that Time Lords can switch sexes when they regenerate. But she so, already is alive and a person. I don't know how she he would become her. But yeah, see, so I, oh, I don't I don't no. think that. I remember my first theory when I Clara showed up was that she the was the doctor the from another time, from a future time oh, where yeah. he'd regenerated oh, into yeah. her. Yeah. Uh, since we're talking BBC, I started watching a show called uh, Jekyll and Hyde. I think I've heard of this. It, it's interesting. I've watched the first four episodes. Was that episodes. a show called Jekyll? Well, there, was there, was a show there was a, Jekyll. Called, there was a I, book there, uh, a long time ago. No, I know Robert that. Uh, Jekyll I've got. Jekyll came okay, out about that's 10 what years I'm ago. Of. This is new. 
Um, and what it is, it's his, uh, it's Dr. Jekyll's great grandson. So instead of becoming like totally changing, like they show you know, a flashback mm -hmm. of the original Jekyll and Hyde and he completely morphs mm -hmm. into a different person. Mm -hmm. But it's it's two generations past. So he's quarter Je quarter Hyde. So it's he was passed down genetically? Yes. See what it is. So the, the, the formula changed. Well, Dr. But, Jekyll on a genetic level. Well, it changed him completely. I mean, he became. Yeah, but it's not short a term. It's not like it well, increased adrenaline and this and that. Well, what it's doing is uh, there's two formulas. One was for Jekyll and one was for Hyde. Uh -huh. He took the green to become, or well, he took the red to become Hyde, and he had to take the green to become Jekyll. Why would Hyde ever drink the green? Because Hyde likes being Hyde. Yeah, mm -hmm. but sooner or later, Hyde's got to earn money, and Hyde's. Uh -huh. See what people misunderstand and what they get wrong a lot in the Matt. in the movies Matt. is is Jekyll and Hyde are the same person. Yeah, the different he, aspects of no, it. no, no, no. All the formula did was change his appearance. It's kind of like this, Matt. If I could give you an elixir mm -hmm. that would change you so much that you would not, no one would ever think you were Matt Clements, mm -hmm. and you could change back at any time, what would you do? Rob a bank. Well, you know what he wanted? He was a doctor. He had a great standing in the community. He wanted to go whoring around. He wanted to party and drink and fuck whores all day long. He couldn't oh, yeah, do that. Oh, yeah, fuck whores. I want to do that, too. <laughs> so he would become Hyde, go do whatever he wanted, and then come back, drink a potion, become Jekyll, and no one, no one was the wiser. His reputation wouldn't get ruined. The problem was... Oh, you have a reputation to protect. That's well, the problem was, as Hyde, he ends up killing somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then he starts changing back and forth uncontrollably. Mm -hmm. So he ends up committing suicide. He drinks poison or uh, acid or something and kills Why himself. Why would you kill yourself by drinking acid? <laughs> I, I, I think it was one of those the cops were at his door. I know, but seriously, that and, had, and he so had to hurt Yeah, he had to throw something together quick. That's like I want. I want to kill myself. I'm gonna jump in this wood chipper legs first. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> That's like the worst thing you could do. But this show, since it's his great grandchild, they they show like his eyes change and like veins and stuff, mm -hmm. and he switches personalities, but he doesn't change completely physically. That way, they save on makeup. Effects. Exactly. But it's been a good show so far. So and I recommend is it, it. A new a new show? Yeah, or you I think it was last up? year. Okay. So I've I've already I've got the ten episode. You know, it's BBC. They did ten episodes. Oh, right. Will there be a season two? Eh. Right. The only thing worse Just be than glad B they're not fifteen minutes. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. The only thing worse <laughs> than the BBC is uh, anime. Oh shit. It's yeah. like let's make his kick ass series and then you know never do a season two. <laughs> it's like screw you. What? And if they do, then they retell it. Yeah, with different we'll voice just, actors. Yeah, we'll just do it different. Or it's in a different alternate universe that has it has the same characters, but somehow has nothing to do with the first one. Yeah, hmm. um, uh, the Flash Supergirl is happening. The crossover. Yeah. So how much longer till we get a uh, TV Justice League? That's all I care. Well, about. now here's the theories. Is it going to be because uh, this week actually tonight on as we speak? Yeah, I'm not. I'm missing Earth Two, man. Uh, the Flash goes to Earth Two. So yeah. is it the Flash is jumping dimensions and meets or is her? This, I want. Or is this the Flash of her world? I want to think hmm. that they're in the same world because I want Supergirl. Martian Manhunter and Red Tornado, the real Red Tornado, to come over and join <laughs> up with the Flash and Green Arrow and Black Canary. Well, that'd be and great. I want to see this shit. But the problem is they don't mention them anywhere in any of the shows. You would think by now they would have mentioned Superman, Batman. They kind of have mentioned Batman and Superman. Well, and Legends of Tomorrow, tomorrow. which we know is part of the Flash Green Arrow universe. Verse. Yes, but we don't know. Rip Hunter talked about them. So... Now, did anybody else, maybe I blinked during Legends of Tomorrow last week. Okay, I've seen it. Uh, did anyone see a glaring plot hole there at the end? What happens at the it. end? Let's see. They take, they bury Carter Hall okay. and they bury their son. Okay. Oh, yeah, Hawkman's dead, sorry. Uh, well, they <laughs> kill Vandal Savage. Hmm. But they go, but he's immortal. He'll be back. So they kill him. Mm -hmm. See, then I didn't the, even think he was dead. Then they then they go back to the ship, and it's like, you're correct. Vandal Savage shows back up in 1985. It's like, well, 
why didn't they bring the body with them and put it in like like cryo storage mm-hmm. to where he wouldn't come back? <laughs> Well, because yeah. they had to what? get Carter's what? body, and only one person could carry. I don't know, but yeah, it's like take I knew. It. I knew they didn't kill him. I, I, I right. Well, he's immortal. He'll show. heal. Exactly. When he did that, I was like, "Boy, I bet that felt good." But you're not doing anything. Well, no, but he's got to heal. It's like Wolverine. He'll well, he'll heal, but throw him in like a cryostasis chamber. Does he heal or does he just reincarnate? Like no, no, he regenerates. No, no, he heals. Okay. It just might but it take must take him a, a long while. time because this was yeah. 1975 and he doesn't appear again until 1986. Well, they don't have record of him until 1986. I like that. to think he's sitting there going, "Me, me, me, uh, uh, <laughs> fuck." All right. <laughs> Uh, Flash was decent last week. We got Tar Pit, uh, you know, bad guy it was of the week. Right. You could yeah. tell they didn't have a lot of budget left because yeah. the, the end that you see his comic form. Oh, was that was over th- so fast. Yeah, right. I was like, what oh, the? Frozen. Where's the big battle? The fastest climax in the world. I know. It's sort of like, <laughs> I'm coming for it. Throw the cool thing. Okay, smash him. Done. All right, come on. Let's well, go. Show's over. It, 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 the whole story was filler. I, it's, it's like, well, we're going up, we're working up to get into Earth Two, and Harrison Wells is stealing the Flash's speed, and of yeah, course, that was the big plot thing of that episode yeah. that he stole the speed, and right. then he admitted to it. So percent of his speed. So what? What? What's to say they're not going to do that with Zoom? My my theory now is they're going to still Zoom speed, and whatever container they're putting it in overloads and explodes, and that's how Wally West becomes. Oh, Kid that would Flash. be. Uh, but okay. you know what we did see? Remember I was talking about Jay Garrick, and I was like, well, we don't yeah. know that he stole his speed. We actually did see him consume some of Barry's speed at this yes. point. Yeah. He, like, so he did do that. Uh, you know, one thing that occurred to me watching the, the, the this last episode was uh, um, what I wish – well, I don't know. I, I don't like I the, the new Firestorm too. guy. Yeah. I wish they would have found a guy like uh, like Wally West to play the Firestorm guy. You know, he's a good actor. I I like that really, guy. Really? The Firestorm guy's grown on me. Yeah, yeah he's getting like better. I, I don't I don't mind him. He's annoying to me. I don't mind him so much. It's just, I just, you know. And actually, about most of that cast, I'm like, wh- aren't there, like, better actors? Like, what, who? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what, though? I'm not, I'm not, I know. No, I've been saying that since Superman Returns, but. (laughs) Hey, you're talking on Brandon Routh, and he's one of the guys I like. I like Brandon Routh. What are you guys, see, the hilarious, I I know we need chicks on this, I know uh, we need chicks on this team, but the ones I could do without are Hawk Girl and White Canary, they're clearly the weakest. He's waiting for Ma Hinkle to show up. No. (laughs) And then Heat Wave. I mean, he's a good sidekick for. Captain Cold, but really on his own, he's not really all that great. Yeah, Captain Cold's the 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 star right there. Right. Well, yeah, and and that's the other thing. It's like Heat Wave, you know, his hot. I guess he can melt metal or something. But basically, he he just kills people. He's I mean, got a flamethrower. Is yeah, he's to kill got a flame. people. And we already got Firestorm. Who can throw fire? Well, this yeah. is redundant. We don't need you. Well, yeah. But it's, it's like, also, are they supposed to just go around? Ki- aren't they supposed to be heroes? Like, they're not like anti heroes, really, right? Well, he didn't pick them because they were heroes, so. Yeah, he, he picked them because they were expendable. Yeah. They don't make. Okay. But at so the, the like same time, suicide squad. you can't say, let's not disrupt the timeline. Oh, we're in the middle of a, a mercenary convention. Start burn killing those assholes. Yeah. <laughs> let's burn and freeze everybody. Yeah, right. It's not like that's going to give Vandal Savage a peek into what's coming up in the future. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, we we could like they could be showing him everything the technologies that he then followed to develop that allowed him to conquer the world. Yeah, yeah. Well, Which I'm that's sure that's how this what, is going to go. Well, that's yep. what happened, right? The piece of the Adam suit. Well, they off, didn't. They broke. Like, they, they stole it back. Right, yeah, they right. stole it back and destroyed but, it. But and like, what? Why does he have like a little piece of? That would fall like off. I have no on idea. His sleeve that like falls off when he gets hit by something. Mm. Uh, I, don't I don't know. I think he should. It is a design Fix flaw. the suit <laughs> to where it's not an Iron Man ripoff suit, and he just shrinks. Well, we we did get him to the most Adam like Adam. I know that was very you know, Adam like. I liked that. He was in the bloodstream. He went so. in the bloodstream and did so. Like if he had gauntlets and a belt. And not that big ass Iron Man helmet, but a more tight fitting Captain America style helmet. And he just did well. The belt thing's awful lot like Ant Man. Maybe it'll be yeah. on his gauntlet. And he hits it, and then he can shrink and 
expand and that would yeah. like that better. Well, see, actually, if you think about it, Ant Man stole that from the Atom. I know. In the but comics, Ant-Man Adam came out had first, the, that's the problem. Yeah, and he had a gas. He mm-hmm. one gas canister made him shrink, and one made him grow. Mm-hmm. So. Right. Uh, one thing that affects me and Matt a little bit oh, more this than anybody will. else, yeah, uh, Hasbro I, and Mattel are talking about merging. Right. You know what? And this, then probably then buy, be bought up by Disney pretty quickly after this, that. You know what scares us about me is He-Man is going to get fucked. Oh, yeah. And not by Skeletor. <laughs> yeah, find me. <laughs> You're going to take it. Yes. <laughs> you don't think Disney's going to make a series of He-Man movies? No. And I think Mattel is keeping He-Man around because they don't have much in the boys' market, and that they can't sell it. They don't know how. Are they, but I think that they still making He-Man. Toys? Yeah, there's He-Man toys. They they, they they sell them to collectors only. Okay. It it's right now it's a collectors only. In two thousand was it two thousand one? Two thousand yeah two thousand. They tried to bring. They had a TV show and a toy line. That was actually a pretty good. But it show. was like the the case of toys was one good guy. One bad guy, three He Man, three Skeletor, and, and that's how every, every case, case was. Was like that. It's like okay, regular He Man, regular Skeletor, and then the, the next, next case like- is one good guy, one bad guy, three Ice He Man, and three Fire, fire Ste- Skeletor. Or something. They yeah. did that every wave. Huh. And, and then they're like, well, the toy line isn't selling, so cancel everything. Yeah, because no and I was like, because was- you guys are fucking morons. <laughs> that's why the toy line isn't selling. Yeah, I mean, it yeah. was decent. It hey, was... I got an idea. Instead of canceling this show that's doing good in the ratings yeah. and canceling these toys that are actually pretty good, how about you try removing your head that firmly <laughs> from your asshole for five minutes and look at what you're doing? It's uh... Wait, what was it? Mattel and who? Hasbro. Kinder? Hasbro, oh, yeah. It's like, okay, if you owned a bakery <laughs> and you made a chocolate pie and then you made... Four raspberry pies. Mm. Everybody eats the chocolate pie and goes, oh, you're out of chocolate pies? Well, I'm not buying anything else. If you make some more chocolate pies, that's okay. You don't the next day when you go to bed tonight, you know what I'm going to do tomorrow? Four more raspberry Mm. pies, one chocolate pie. (laughs) And I'll put those same four raspberry pies back out again because I'm sure they'll sell now. And then they come in. Somebody grabs the chocolate pie, buys it, walks out the store. Now you have eight raspberry (laughs) pies. That's okay. exactly what Now, guess happened. what you do? You go to bed that night and go, this is a sound business thing. I'm going to do this again. No, no, Four no. Four raspberry no. pies, one chocolate. No, then what they do is go, you know what I think the problem is? I think the raspberry pies aren't the right color. So we'll dye them all green. Yeah. <laughs> and put out one chocolate pie. One chocolate pie. And eight raspberries. Four raspberry pies, <laughs> but now they're tie-dye. Yeah. So surely now they'll sell. We didn't change the recipe. No, no, no. It's like, oh, my And God. look. We stuck a little uh, a little sprinkler in the t- or a uh, a candle in the top and watch this. Ooh, yeah. it. Look, now you'll buy it, right? No. Now I have sixteen raspberry pies and no chocolate pies. So what do I do? Let's try it again. Now, Four more raspberry pies. Now we've talked in the last couple of weeks about how they haven't got it down right that uh, Lego puts out Lego sets before movies. And spoils a lot of the movies. That's how we found out about Giant Man. Going to be in Which Captain America. Be so awesome. Oh, really? Yeah. I think I we, missed that. Okay, we Lego talked set. about it. He's in a Lego set. It's like, hey, look, this Lego set was at a toy convention in, in Germany. Nordenberg. And, it, and it's got a Giant Man in it. So it's like, well, now we know what Who happens. looks exactly it's, like Ant-Man, just only big. he's three times as big as <laughs> yeah. everybody else. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, now we know what happens there. Yeah. Someone made a mock uh, Deadpool Lego set. It's hilarious. Ryan Reynolds saw it and said, damn it, I told him no toy fairs before now, the movie. Now tell him what's in the set. <laughs> it is Deadpool on a Pegasus in space fighting a... It's a hot air balloon? A hot air balloon, an astronaut with a katana on a hot air balloon. In the background is a shark on a motorcycle fighting an a flying octopus. octopus. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. And right, this is a yeah. fan-made, you know... <laughs> I would love it if that's what happened to Deadpool. Or he gets knocked out and has, and has, a, dream. And he has a dream. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, but, it, but on the box it says movie spoilers, Deadpool. What's the name of the set? The name of the set's it's hilarious. movie spoilers. No, it says right oh. here. Deadpool space squid shark balloon battle. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> that so, is so awesome. I'm in. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I would buy that set. I would totally buy I would love to build that and have that just sitting on my desk and be like, when somebody goes, what is this? I'll be like, let me tell you about it. <laughs> oh, here, here's the uh, duh story of the week. Duh. Long Island medium <laughs> Teresa <laughs> Cafruto Cap, Capro under investigation for fraud. Have you ever seen the show? It's no. hilarious. Long Island medium no. star Teresa Capruto C A P U T O is reportedly under investigation for fraud, and many of her so called clients are dissatisfied with their readings and claim. That she has no real gift, but oh, plenty really? of sources helping her pull off a scam. I mean, it's seriously like, <laughs> like, oh my God, there's a ghost in this house. Now, I think what they want from you is for you, you know, they need you to get good with yourself. And um, they want you, you should like move on, you know, capiche, you know, <laughs> that's what you should do. Okay. No. And, and they just want you to be happy. Now that will be five thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Good boy. <laughs> that's the whole fucking show. Yeah. Yeah. It's like okay. And that's gonna be my reoccurring character, Long Island Medium Girl. I like there it. You go. Uh, you may be getting sued, Matt. I don't know if you heard about the. Heard <laughs> uh, the guess what? So she can. Well, the, yeah. <laughs> no, my predictions totally. My predictions would probably be more accurate. You know what? You love life right now. It's suffering. It really is. But you don't worry. You stick by your man, you tweet him good, and he'll stop fucking that whore. You don't worry. You know what you good? You give up the ass. <laughs> you give up the ass, he'll stick around. Wait, is this what the ghosts are telling you? The ghosts are telling me this right here. <laughs> Smoking Abraham Lincoln, he's sitting right here telling me these. <laughs> now, said, since, since like, you brought up lawsuits. Four score seven years ago, give up the butthole. <laughs> Now let's let's be honest. We are not YouTube media stars, so we we may not keep up on Speak all. Speak for yourself, YouTube. <laughs> but did you hear about the Fine Brothers? Do you know guys yes. know who the Fine yeah, Brothers yeah, are? We talked about it last week a bit. Yes. Did we? Okay. I think Mickey told me something about them. Up. It's okay. on the episode. Listen. Being very all right. Fine. Well, they yeah. they, 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 they they blew they, my mind. I know that. Well, they do the Teen React. The the yeah, grand, okay, react to and they tried to the trademark the term React. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of like uh, uh, Donald think that's Trump work tried out to for you. trademark, you know, you're fired, per yeah. Hilton, you're hot. Uh, they dropped it because of uh, the major backlash. Right. Major backlash. Yeah, I think they and lost like 500,000 To a million subscribers, yeah. yeah. They... Yeah, hey, it's, it's a good idea. If everybody loves you, don't do something that's going to make everybody hate you. Yeah. But it was it's, one of those, but we're doing this for you. We're doing oh, this for you. You're doing it for me? Yeah. yeah. So so you're so, going to give me that money you collect? Well, see, what happens is I'm going to trademark all this, and then I'm going to let you do videos. Uh huh. And then we'll split the money that you make because I'm letting you use my trademark. But can't I just make oh. my own videos and not use your trademark, well, and then I get don't. to keep all my money? Well, no, because I've <laughs> trademarked that term. You can't use the term react. At all? Uh, well, that's what the, the well, that's why they dropped. It's like now you don't have to call it. I watch shit and tell you what's happening. So and if give I you put, my thought, like what I, I I watch me react to kitten yep. and a wood chipper, then they would say <laughs> you're you're stealing my 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 trademark. Yeah, but I just threw a kitten and a wood chipper. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I think I have bigger problems than trademark infringement. <laughs> but another thing that's coming up, I might, be a, I might up, be a serial killer. A lot of YouTubers are mad because for no reason really whatsoever, they're getting strikes on their channels, mm. they're getting their money cut off, or they're getting uh, videos deleted by YouTube. Yeah. And they've got to fight it. You're guilty until Is proven innocent. This... Oh, no, that was PayPal. I was like, I got a class action suit thingy that I was apparently a member of, even though See, I didn't. See, I, yeah, I got that too, too and I, I wondered if that was yeah. like a scam, <laughs> so I didn't. I, I just go... deleted it. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm not suing PayPal. They never did anything wrong to me, yeah. so I don't care. Everything works out. I mean... But uh, mm -hmm. I, there, there's a YouTuber that's that's bringing up an interesting. Goal. Okay, these people aren't doing anything wrong, and they're getting you know their livelihoods messed with. But then YouTube won't do anything against, and he brings up React videos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now he goes, some React videos are fine. There's nothing wrong. You know, it's it's a lazy thing. Anybody can do them. But it's one thing if you show someone watching TV, mm -hmm. and they react. 
It's another thing if you give your reaction to a movie trailer and you show the spots that you're reacting to. Mm -hmm. But when you play a video from beginning to end on your channel, that's copyright infringement. Yeah, oh, that's true. And what he was mad about was someone took one of his videos mm -hmm. and reacted to it. So why would and anyone made money off and of made it. money off it? Why would they go to the original channel to watch it if they just watched it on this guy's react video? You know, I just had the greatest idea. I'm going to set up a camera. I'm going to go. It's going to say like Matt reacts to watching whatever. Yeah. OK, now I'm going to set the camera up. I'm going to sit on the couch. I'm going to stick my hand in my pants. I'm going to sit there and eat Doritos. Occasionally, I'm going to fart and then I'm just going to go. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to sit there and yeah. I'm film an hour of it. And then I'm going to put That's it on That's what YouTube. some of them are. Some of them are that way. Now, some of them are fun to watch because... See, I, mine wouldn't be fun to watch. He's like, is he going to do something? He's not going to do anything. And I'm not going to do anything. But, okay. What um, else we got? Mm. Speaking of uh, going back to Deadpool real quick, I, I just sure. came across this. We can't go back to Deadpool now. I'm no. sorry. Uh, apparently, DMX, the uh -huh. guy oh, no. who did the famous... going to give it to you. He doesn't, yeah, like yeah. His, he doesn't like that his... Songs on well, it. Well, this it, I'm key that may be related, but okay. this is this is uh, apparently he was found unconscious, uh -oh. uh, o apparent overdose, and uh, basically dead. But he was revived. Oh, he got uh, some of that Deadpool money, mm, yeah. some of that royalty money, and went Did and bought you, uh, So maybe he doesn't like it. Maybe that's um, a, uh, is it. That's a very strong criticism. If yeah. Mira, the, uh, the oh, BMX Dave, Dave, guy. Yeah, Dave Mira. Yeah, uh, or my, yeah. My, yeah or he my, like, killed uh, himself or something. Yeah, yeah I saw right. that. Like on Tuesday or something? Right, I, I pretty much only knew See, about him from a video was... game. See, he was on, like, MTV or something. I remember him. Yeah. Before. Now, see, you guys, I was trying to stay away from the death stuff. Oh. Um, uh, Maurice White, Earth, Wind, and Fire singer. Oh, dead, that's right. Yeah. 74. Um, the guy oh, that was... Remember uh, oh, when uh, I used to wear uh, orange did you hear about, and uh, I sang... Uh, Joe uh, Alaski, who's done the voice for Daffy Duck and uh, this crazy Bugs Bunny has passed away. He's the guy who's currently doing the voice of both Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny on, on like Wabbit. Yeah, that's the guy. Well, not anymore. <laughs> no, I know he's dead now. I don't. I, I've seen a little bit of Wabbit. I don't care for it. I think I did this like is the guy. The last... He's most definitely the guy who did it for, um, that Looney Tunes show that was yeah. on not too long ago where they were. Where Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny were roommates. Yeah, I which like was that great, show. Where, and Kristen Wiig did uh, the odd Lola was Bunny, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. it was nuts. Oh, Lola was insane. <laughs> she was nuts. <laughs> yeah, I love the way they did what they did with that character. <laughs> I, it is not the one like the one that made fluttery eyes at Bugs Bunny oh, in Space no. Jam. It's like. She's like, we should move in together. <laughs> yeah, it's like one date. And she's, she's like, like Wait, what? <laughs> we just met. <laughs> How'd you get in my room? Well, I have a ladder. <laughs> you know, it's like, what? I love that one where well, she did the holiday I, song. Like, how else am I supposed to watch you sleep? <laughs> you know, I was like, wait, was what? Insane. Oh, yeah, she was a freak. <laughs> and she was so stupid, too. It was, so not only was she crazy, she was an idiot. And it was no. just, it was, oh. oh it, they reinvigorated that character. And it's like, I just want to watch the Lola Bunny show. It's yeah, the only bad thing about that whole series, I like the entire series, except they made the Tasmanian Devil uh, Bugs' dog. He was like a dog. I mean, he looked like the Tasmanian Devil, Yeah, but he was like the pet. Huh. I love the best one where Daffy Duck thinks he's going to invent something to get oh. rich, and he keeps inventing stuff that already exists. <laughs> and Bugs is like, yeah, that's called toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and he like, steals. <laughs> he steals one of Bugs's ideas. He he's going through Bugs's stuff and finds a a, a, a carrot peeler mm -hmm. that Bugs had was on a patent and never did. Hmm. So he's like, "Well, I'm going to patent this." And he steals it, patents it, gets it made, sells millions of them, and he's rich. And Bugs is like, "Well, yeah, I'm mad that you stole my idea, Doc. But uh, how did you keep the engine from overheating?" He's like, like what? the what now? <laughs> and all of a sudden, all these things are catching fire, and he's getting sued, and they're they're running him out of town. That was a great show. And Daffy Duck's girlfriend was like, she worked at like a Kinko's, and she was just <laughs> like, you could tell. Oh, like, she was, was like, she was a Jersey break, girl. I would break up with this asshole, but I don't know anybody else that would have sex with me. <laughs> I mean, it's exactly well, the reaction with her. Oh, there's one. It uh, was so good. That show was brilliant. <laughs> what was it? Daffy got a beak job because he, there was a little bump in his beak. So he goes to meet his girlfriend. You don't see his face. He, oh, you see his teeth. <laughs> they took <laughs> his whole bill off. 
<laughs> so she's like, what the hell happened to you? He like, his duck bill shaved down, and so he's just seen all these teeth. <laughs> It was it was a hilarious show. What was this? What was it, it was on? It was like the Looney Tunes show. Yeah, or something it was Looney like Tunes. Was it on Cartoon Network. Yes, huh. it was. It was wow. brilliant. It was totally really more it. of an adult. Yeah, and like Speedy Gonzalez owned a pizza place or something. Or it was. Something I couldn't like believe that. they brought back Speedy. Speedy Gonzalez, and he was always talking to Bugs because he was like the one rational guy in the whole thing. And poor Porky was just always the the one shit happened to. Oh, and is it? Well, who was the one? I think there was the, a scene where it's like Porky, you, you're eating a ham sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, but, but I think but, that's the one where Elmer Fudd had the whole song about glove and grilled cheese. <laughs> it was crazy. It was messed up. Check the show out. Yeah. It's it's well you worth can find it. it on I guess like this is Looney Tunes. This is so great. Uh, it only lasted like two or three seasons, yeah. but it was it was brilliant. Uh, Netflix is talking. They're already talking up their uh, Voltron. Voldron, Defender of the Universe. So, um, uh, we've seen uh, figures for the Ghostbusters, mm-hmm. which has mm-hmm. done a bomb horribly. I don't and know. If it was original, it might do better, but the it just looks it like no, it's it, a remake. It's not. It does. It. It's and yeah. it's even. I think a period piece because I think it's set in like. Oh God! I hope not. <laughs> like nineties or something. I, it's not like it, it seems like that. It seems I heard that someplace, but. What's annoying about me, and I think I've mentioned this before, that it's just Ghostbusters flipped. So all yeah. the people that were guys are now girls, and all the girls are guys. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? What? <laughs> do something. No! What you do? Uh, do a sequel. Do something interesting with it. And I don't... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to talk about Ghostbusters. No, I want to talk about Ghostbusters. Uh, the, uh, uh, back to the Super Bowl, the uh, Batman Superman tra- uh Spots were kind of let down. It was Korean I think that, error. I think you know? that movie is going to be a let down. Actually, the yeah. more I see about it, it's one of those. I I've got two free movie tickets every month. I get two free. I win two free movie tickets, and it's like okay. First, it was like you know what, we can wait a week to see Deadpool. You know, let's save a little bit of money. That's sixteen bucks. No, we're not. We're not waiting a week to see Deadpool. No, I'm not waiting a okay. week either. So I'm thinking. Okay, uh, I'm thinking I got the I got President's Day off. I'm thinking about going. Yeah. Then. Uh, Deadpool, I can't wait to see. No, I cannot wait. Mm-hmm. To see Superman, it. Batman. Yeah, I could wait a week. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 X Men Apocalypse. Yeah. I could wait a week. Civil War. No, no. no. Oh, I'm going. Hell no. I'm going the day it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So so I'll have plenty of time to use these tickets, but there's just ones I'm I'm just not amped about Superman, Batman. Yeah, yeah. My wife turned. Not... When we watched that ad. She was like, "Poor Ben Affleck," and I'm like, <laughs> "What? What? Poor Ben Affleck? Why?" And she goes, "That movie's gonna suck." <laughs> well, I don't think it's not. I don't think it's gonna suck. It's just. I not, think it is. It's just not gonna be to the quality that we're used to. Mm. I mean, when they can show a Batman Superman trailer, and it's it looks like most of the footage is at night, and then Civil War, it's broad daylight and bright, yeah. you know, and you're like. It's flipped. It's just not what it should be. Batman can't go out during the day. Yeah. Batman has very sensitive well, skin and doesn't want to get melanoma. And also, dark Superman doesn't go out during the day very much, right? I mean, he's probably switching. Well, it's harder to get away with killing guys when, at, right. in the day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when they didn't see you coming. I guess he was out during the day in the first one. Yeah. Yeah, when he snapped oh, yeah, John's when, neck. Yeah, when he was you know destroying Metropolis. <laughs> you know, yeah, you guys thousands make fun. Of, of you guys people. make fun of Brandon Routh, but he was saving people and stopping the damage in oh, Superman Lord. Returns. Thank you. Very um, much. um, Jeff Johns come out. Mm. He's the big guy at more era of uh, DC. DC. Oh, and no, I'm sorry, it wasn't Jeff Johns. Who directed uh, Snyder? Zack Snyder. Zack yeah. Snyder come out and said, "My Superman is canon. My Superman fits the history of Superman." No, it doesn't. Uh, uh, no, it is hard to say because Christopher Reeves was better till he started pulling off cell phone S's off his chest and throwing <laughs> yeah. at people and flying around the. I'm sure that no, wasn't uh, his choice. Now let's be honest, no, Superman is reinvented every know, twenty years or so. Reeves, I think was the closest. But never in the history of a superhero movie is it like, oh yeah, he's fighting the bad guys. Thousands of people died. Yeah, realistically, that's what would happen. <laughs> but this is right. Superman. Superman finds a way. Superman finds a way not to let that He's shit godlike. happen. He's godlike. He yeah. can stop these things. 
Yeah, you know, right. That's the that's the. I mean, we've discussed this before. You know, yeah. That's the drama of Superman. That's what his villains do. Is they threaten people? They so threaten, because he yeah, knows they put that him in a situation where he has to either save these people or save Lois Lane, or and he has to figure out a way to do both. Because fighting well, him is not both. interesting because he's invulnerable. Because I'm both Bruce Wayne you and to, like, Batman. You have to put right. stakes in there <laughs> by having you know moral dilemmas for him. You know, yeah, it's yeah. He just, I mean, it's a it's a pretty simple idea. Yeah, but, but he completely. You know, yeah, doesn't get it. That's well, that's absurd that he says that. He, <laughs> he, that's he, he knows that what Superman is not what I no. know. And to me, it would be like if you rewatch the Avengers mm-hmm. and the scene where the Hulk's running through the 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 office and mm-hmm. he jumps through the window and he's like ah and he's just running people over. Yeah, you know? I was yeah. like get on my word and killing. Yeah, people. there's like an <laughs> office worker drinking coffee and he smacks the guy out of the way. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Kills he's him. like. Just runs them down. No, Arr. the implication is everybody got out of the Hulk's way. Yeah. And, and, and if anything, the Hulk is beating up Chintari that are going to yeah. kill these people. And you know... you know, And you saw Captain America save people. Yeah. You know yeah. damage was done. You knew, you know... But you didn't see city blocks crumble. You know, it's like, contain them here. You know, we'll, you know, we'll keep them... And that's in what this. they did in, in exactly. Avengers. They're like, we have to keep them contained. And then they like that's the greatest thing at the end of that movie that they they're doing those little interviews with everybody and they love the Avengers and she goes I don't know she goes Captain America saved my life that is like exactly what should be happening at DC and is not happening the best they're meme. like yeah but look at how badass he is the best meme for it is it shows Superman looking at the Avengers and goes really it takes you know, what was it, five, six of you to stop an alien invasion? Mm-hmm. And it shows Samuel L. Jack goes, yeah, smart ass, if you want to save lives and then yeah, no prevent shit. property damage. Yeah. You know? So, uh, speaking of X-Men Apocalypse, mm-hmm. uh, the only thing I could keep thinking of, we saw Psylocke. Yeah. And oh, I kept yeah. thinking, that's not how her psychic blade works. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Did you post that gif of her cutting a car in half? No, I didn't. Okay, Somebody oh, see, I don't did. know anything about the character really. Okay, but somebody there was some a comment she can't thread about cut it. Stuff with that, that right? Well, it's the can... full mental. It's the full focus of her 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 telekinetic power. Okay, yeah. She's a telepath. Okay, yeah. Okay, what it used to be was she was a a, a British supermodel model with purple hair. She was the sister of the hero Captain Britain. Okay. She gets kidnapped, blinded. Then kidnapped again and given robotic eyes by Mojo, <laughs> joins the X Men, kidnapped again. Oh no, she goes through the siege portal, which is supposed to give you like a new life. It's, it's a mystical thing. Oh, it's supposed to like reincarnate you. It's a Lazarus thing. pit. Oh, it, it's more like a reincarnation thing. Okay. She shows up again as an Asian assassin. Yeah, it's more like a it's like a, more like a randomizer generator. Yeah, you walk through it and you, you'll pop out someplace else yeah. as somebody else. Yeah, well, that sounds fun. But the In whole case thing it was goes wrong. She used to have psychic ability, or she has Trans- psychic abilities. Transmorgifier. Mm-hmm. That when she used them, there'd be almost like an energy butterfly effect on her I face. I remember that. And whatever whoever she was controlling would have the same effect because that that way you could tell she was controlling them. Yeah. Well, when she come back as an Asian assassin, she had a thing called the psychic blade, and she'd hold her fist up, and it was just like psychic energy would make like a blade, and she would stab people in the head with it. Yeah, and it would just fry their sap, you know. And then they'd like pass out because it screwed up their brain. Yeah, you can't cut stuff with it. Yeah, (laughs) you can't. But now she's a a a horseman of the apocalypse. Who knows what you know? Maybe yeah. I'm sure apocalypse uh, souped up her psychic blade. She would have to somehow make physical manifestations of her telekinetic powers. That's the only way that would work. Yeah. Well, or she I did was notice... char- she was Deadpool. She was charging well, not Deadpool, uh, Gambit. She was charging oh, yeah. a blade. Well, all he does is gift, alter though, the energy inside yeah, uh, an object that was It did show yeah. she had a sword in one hand and a psychic Potential blade in to the kinetic. other. So maybe she combined the two like no. and swung it in front of her so it looked like the psychic blade was cutting through the car. Because you just uh, didn't see the... No, but you know what would actually, happen? Actually, the, the whole shot is all messed up. Like, yeah. the perspective is really weird. Mm, it's yeah, like it's... the car goes cut in half, and then, it like, as it falls apart, she's, like, 10, y- ten feet behind the car and flies through. <laughs> it is it's, weird. Yeah. It's... But... 
Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we see that uh, Angel is Angel first, and later becomes Archangel. Archangel. Well, so I figured he loses his wi- uh, wings. But see, so this X three isn't canon with this. No, no, yeah, they've like. Well, I think right the last one when they reset Day, history, Days of Future Past they rebooted X3. everything. So two and three doesn't exist anymore. I oh, thought two, two did, three. but okay. three didn't. Uh, at well, see what happened is it it's altered the timeline from 1970 whatever where they were at forward yeah forward it's altered. so that means all fir- three of the first ones didn't happen because right. because look nightcrawler's part of the x-men in the 80s yeah and they didn't meet him till the 2000s, 2000s. yeah now they they have I like said that one x2 they, they said uh, deadpool gives a gives away a big spoiler to age of apocalypse hmm. and well how's that because well age of apocalypse takes place in eight in the 80s Deadpool takes place in present day and everything's fine. <laughs> so you, you, you can't. Yeah, I wonder if they stop Apocalypse. Yes. Uh, I wonder if what happened. So I'm sure the world's going to end in 1985. Yeah. So we'll have to see. So, but that, but they're playing the ages like that makes sense for 1999. How old I know, Storm is? How old Scott is? How they, old Gene is? Well, and honestly, at the end of uh, of Days of Future Past. The um, oh, the guy that steals I can't remember his name. The guy, uh, the guy that steals Wolverine, Striker. Get, Striker, he's like twenty. He does not have the resources for Weapon X at this moment. So what? He keeps Wolverine on ice for a, a I decade. Don't know. You know, and the same thing. Ryan Reynolds isn't going to be in his thirties in you know two thousand and sixteen because I think the whole uh, where they went to uh, Africa to steal the vibranium. Or uh, excuse me, the meteorite, which was adamantium, yeah, adamantium, was in the seventies. Well, shit. You know, it, it's one of those things. that's like, wait, what? So, yeah. And when did Origins? Origins did that take place like during Three Mile Island? That's yeah, that, yeah. Or, right. Well, what the fuck? Was this timeline doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no. It, yeah. It doesn't. It's. I'd say I think what it was supposed because X Men was what ninety nine. Yeah, that means that means X Men Origins is a period piece in the seventies. No, what happened? Uh, X Men, okay, X Men was ninety nine. They said he was wandering around for like five years, so puts puts the end of Origins at like ninety, let's say ninety three, ninety four. Really? Because I took well, they, it as young, older than that. No, see, they did a big because at the beginning they show that he doesn't age because he's well, fighting no, all I knew these that, wars. Yeah. So the whole vibranium or uh, excuse me, antimanium Adamantium. stealing scene was probably late seventies, early eighties, and then it jumps ahead X a number of years where he's logging in Canada. We don't know how much time yeah. has passed because See, now Scott know. Summers is a teenager in high school, which yeah, would put five young. years later he could have been in X Men. He in was 99. in his twenties. We yeah. were supposed to be led to believe. Because Jean Grey was older. She was in her 30s. But the same thing. You can't take it at value because uh, Emma Frost is in Origins, and she's 16. Yeah, and then she's, and then she's like in the 60s. 30, she's 30. Like 28, 29, 30 in yeah. X-Men Origins in the 60s. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so or first class. First class. Yeah, that's right. First so, class. yes, it, they they just forget the first oh, movies. This, to I don't. The, the Fox's X-Men timeline gives me a headache. I don't no. think about it. It's. Yeah. Okay, well, speaking of timelines, okay. we are we're we're well over an hour. Oh, yeah, okay. So, well, let's well, so, let me uh, grab a card here and or... uh, I guess I was just like like looking at Facebook. I'll just throw this out. Like uh, is okay, it done at prom uh, night? Let's wrap it up. Yeah. Uh Preacher, the Preacher show coming to AMC, which oh. I'm pretty excited about. I think it's going to be pretty cool. I've We've seen, talked about that, right? Yeah, that, we Preacher? have talked yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah. I don't really know anything about the books, but I've I I've, I've always seen them in comic book shops. The art yeah. looks awesome, or the covers anyway. Is that Garth Ennis? And, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I thought that was. Um, and uh, Jackie Earl Haley has just been added to the cast. Yes, and uh, that's a good, or maybe not just. I, you already heard that, I guess. Well, uh, today it yeah. broke yeah. today. So, He's uh, reprising his role as Freddy Krueger. That's exciting to me. I, I like anything. Well, except for that movie. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I like Watchmen him anyway. was good. Yeah, watch. Yeah. Oh man, he was great. And I like Bad News Bears. That was a good movie. Yep. Yeah, so. I'm excited. To see Those him are my two something. go-to for Jackie Earl, Earl Haley: That's Bad the News Bears two. and Watchmen, because it's the only two movies he's been in that I've actually seen that I and then right. I like both of them. And it sounds like he plays like a really slimy. I have not. Like, I've actually not seen the reboot guy. of Night yeah. 
uh, uh, Street. Real it quick, was, it was the, a waste of time. The the rundown of Preacher is God's gone a wall from heaven, and heaven taps this Preacher to find him. Yeah, it pretty much is the the gist of it. So, and then uh, there's also uh, bounty hunters from heaven looking for God as well. So it's because that's what you do. Yeah. So real quick. Uh, he, Marvel he's tr- in oh. a homeless man. Uh, <laughs> he uh, plays yeah. E-ball. Yeah, that's the plot of yeah, Dawn. There you go. Oh, did you hear real quick? Uh, Kevin Smith's daughter was almost kidnapped by yeah. an yes. Uber driver. I posted that on this. Yeah. 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 Um, well. Yeah, no, but this is how. Stay this vigilant. Is how, this is how almost he's like. Did you order an Uber? Yeah. Get in the car. <laughs> yeah. Right. No. Who are you? Who are you here for? Just get in the car. Get in the car. <laughs> no, that's okay. I don't think you're the Uber <laughs> driver. Uh, fine, I'm leaving. Uh, and that's yeah. it. That's the extent of what happened. Yeah, right. Well, she could if she wasn't. If I had om- if that had happened to me, it wouldn't have made the news. Well, it's true. It's mm-hmm. true. But nobody right. cares about me. And, yeah, I'd have yeah. been like, "Hey, you guys, where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Road trip? Are my kidneys good? Yeah, they're fine. <laughs> Why? All right, Marvel trivia. Who is Hercules' father? Zeus. Zeus. Which X team does Moonstar spend most of her time with? Uh, the Avengers. Sunspot. Which X team? Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> does, does Moonstar? I'm trying to think X-Force. who Moon. Oh, the New Mutants. New Mutants slash X Force. Mm. One of hey, those, both of those would I, probably I work. I just threw that out there. Well, because New Mutants. I'm thinking of Moon Dragon. Yeah. Remember that? Who is that character? She's oh. green. No, her costume's green. She's bald. She's the daughter of Drax the Destroyer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's who I'm thinking of. The Electro Savage was Moon part Dragon. of which super team? Oh, the Sinister Six. The Sinister Six. Electro. Oh, super villain team. He also joined the Frightful Four for a very short time. What about the Shocker guy? Uh, Is he also in the Sinister Six? No, no. he's in. he was in the Sinister Syndicate and the Superior yeah, Foes of Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Okay. He, yeah. What is Jason McIndell's profession? Mercenary. Oh yeah, he was, was the like, second shit. Hobgoblin. I yeah, I knew he's exactly that who he was. The first Jack O' Lantern, the second Hobgoblin. Mm-hmm. What year did the Hulk make his first appearance? Nineteen sixty-three. Sixty-two. Damn, because he did come out before Spider-Man. I'm fairly Fuck. sure. All right, Zeus X Force, which so was well. that was the New Mutants. New before. Mutants. She was part of the New Mutants. The New Mutants became. I know her more from the New Mutants because she didn't do much of the X Force. The Sinister Six, Mercenary for Hire, and 1962. Damn, same year. Yep. So same year as Spider Man. See, I knew Spider Man. 1962. All right. All right. Okay. So. Uh, send all complaints to contact at scramblebrainscast.com. We're also on Facebook at facebook.com slash scramblebrainscast. Like it. Yes. Love it. Love it. Live it. Do it. Just do it. You can do it. And we're also on uh, Twitter at scramblecast. Um, we are also on iTunes where you should go. You should go yes. to iTunes. Do it. Review. Subscribe. Do all that great stuff. Or you can go to YouTube. Go to YouTube, search Scramble Brains Cast, or just Scramble Brains, Scramble Brains Cast, probably. Wait, I'm confused. No, what? why? How are you confused? Wait, what are you saying? YouTube. What, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Scramble well, Brains Cast or Scramble yeah, Brains. Yeah, search yeah. for it. Actually, just go to the website and link over. Which is www.scramblebrainscast.com. And you can find all the links there. Go to YouTube, subscribe. That'd be great, too. Uh, we're also on TuneIn, right? TuneIn? Tune in, yes. Uh, uh, podcast addict. I mean, any, uh, any, almost any of your your better uh, podcast compilers, just not Stitcher. Uh, I think right. we're even still on Zoom for some Double reason. Twist. Yeah, probably yeah. if it exists. It's, it's it's still there. I don't know why, but we're there. We're we're gonna back that horse right till it runs into the ground and explodes. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna remove it. I mean, no. It's why would you? No, it's point. fine. Why would I bother? Yes. Um. Fuck. Okay. okay. Good. good. I think that's it. Okay. I, I. It just. It seems like there was something else. Um. Mm-hmm. Free hugs. Free I'm hugs. Oh, I'm gonna be Wait. in a play. Oh, uh, that I, I that would explain that. the the rescheduling. Yes. Oh, rehearsal. Yeah. 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 We're recording on Tuesday. Rehearsal started yesterday. Actually, uh, audition was Sunday, and uh, rehearsal was yesterday. Mm-hmm. So three. Uh, yeah, three days a week now, for the next month. Are you playing a child molester? Mm, well, my character doesn't. Uh, we don't get into the backstory, but I don't think so. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely no child molesting in this uh, in this play. 
fine. I guess maybe I'll go see it. Mm, whatever. Anyway, goodbye, Internet. Till next time, my friends. Be excellent to each other.